In this lesson, I would like to show my configuration of the APC Customize UI++ extension. So since I prefer to hide as many elements as possible, I'm going to hide activity bar as well as status bar. Let's start with hiding activity bar. So let's open up command palette and run the following command to hide activity bar. Toggle activity bar visibility. And in the same way, we're going to hide status bar. Once again, let's open up command palette and run the command to hide status bar. Toggle status bar visibility like so. And now let's open up VS Code configuration file. And before we start adding my configurations, first of all, I'm going to remove all these configuration options, which I do not use. So after saving the changes, VS Code should be restarted. Let's do so and start adding configurations. So firstly, as we can see, traffic lights buttons are not aligned with a file name. So to make the situation better, I'm going to use different value for title bar style option. Let's for example use value hidden inset instead of just hidden. After saving the changes, once again we have to restart VS Code. And as we can see, the alignment was improved just a little bit. So now what we're going to do here until the end of this lesson is we are going to apply styles specifically to individual elements of VS Code user interface. For example, in here, as we can see, icon is not aligned with a file name. So these kind of things we're going to fix. And APC Customize UI++ extension allows us to apply custom styles to individual elements. To do this, we need to create here an object called apc.stylesheet. And in this object, we're going to write the following rules. Keys will be CSS selectors and values will be CSS properties that we're going to apply into certain elements. So let's see it in action. For example, I'd like to hide this button. Just like we did in the browser, let's open up command palette by using keyboard shortcut command option I. And then we just need to inspect that element we'd like to apply styles to. In this case, I'm going to use class selector. So as a key in this object, I'll specify title actions class. And the CSS rule that I need in this case will be display with value none. And as we can see after saving the changes, that button disappeared. Next, let's open up file explorer. And as we can see around this file explorer, we can notice a little shadow. I prefer to hide this shadow. And the same thing I would like to apply to this search bar panel because in here we also have that shadow, so I'm going to add another CSS selector that will allow me to customize style of those panels, and to those panels I'm going to apply a rule box shadow with a value none. And this way, if we'll open up File Explorer once again, we don't see that shadow anymore. And the same goes with search bar panel. Next, let's switch over to the global search panel. In here, as we can see, file icons are not aligned with file names, so let's just fix this alignment by applying the following configuration. In this case, we need background position with the value 0 and bottom. So one icon was fixed, but we also have to fix the second one. And to do so, I'll have to add another CSS selector in here. After saving the changes, as we can see, both icons were fixed. Let's move on, and there is also this batch next to some file names, and the text inside of this batch is not properly aligned in the center. So let's add another rule to align the text inside of this batch. To align the text inside of a batch, I'm going to use padding rule. So this way the alignment was fixed. Now I'm going to remove left padding from the sidebar title. Again, let's use proper CSS selector to select the element we need and apply proper style, which in this case is padding with value zero. Next, there is also this outline, which appears around the sidebar whenever sidebar is focused. 
I prefer to hide this outline. So I'm also going to select this element by using CSS selector and apply the style outline none. And also regarding this border, on the left side of the sidebar which separates editor area and the sidebar, I prefer to hide this border. So let's use CSS selector sidebar and CSS rule border with value none, like so. And as we can see, border is gone. Then I would also like to apply gradient to my cursor. In this case, we need the following selector, Monaco editor, cursors layer, cursor. And then I'm going to add this long rule, which allows me to specify gradient. And finally, let's open up File Explorer one more time. In here, we still don't have a proper alignment between the icon and the file name. So we need to add one more rule in here. And apply the following CSS properties, display flex, as well as align items, center. And after saving the changes, let's open up File Explorer again to make sure that the alignment is fixed, as we can see it is. And this is my current configuration of APC Customize UI++ extension. And the link to the repository with these configurations will be in the video description.